This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got another neat little Arduino R4 Wi Fi project for you. And even though this is the Arduino R4 Wi Fi, we're not using the Wi Fi for this project, but I do have to mention it is the Wi Fi because that is the board that contains this LED matrix. Now, a couple years ago, I made something similar with an Arduino Nano and a BMP280, it's the hiker's buddy. And uh, with scrolling messages here, they're probably not that easy to read, are giving us uh, temperature, pressure, and altitude. The code isn't that hard, and I'll show it to you here in a second. The only thing I'm having difficulty with, really, is adapting this LED matrix to usable text. And I, I think you can see what I mean. I, all I can do is either print a static message or a scrolling message. The static message gives me about three characters. The scrolling message will give me as many as I want, but... I'm getting this garbage at the end of it, and I don't know where it's coming from. See, we've got VY is there a V there? There shouldn't be a V. Pressure, colon, there's the colon hanging out, 14.23 PSI. And then there's part of a 3 hanging out, altitude, colon, 885.20 feet. And you see, there's a, I don't know. Let's go over to the computer and look at the code. Now we can come back. Okay, this is my code for the Hiker Buddy 2.0 written on February 15th, 2024. There's some information there and a little bit about attributing. Okay, so in the first section here, all we do is tell it what libraries we that we're going to need. So this is the BMP 180 or 180. It also works with the BMP 085. Uh, then we have the Arduino graphics library and the matrix library. The, we need those two, the graphics library and the matrix, to talk to the matrix and make text characters. We need the BMP085 to talk to the sensor. Now, we need to tell the Arduino what we mean when we say BMP. What are we, what are we referring to? She says, we need to tell the CPU what we mean. We, well, that's what I wrote. <laughs> yeah, BMP goes to the uh, sensor and matrix goes to the LED matrix, and you can see those right there. In the next section, the setup section, we're going to tell the Arduino how to behave, what, what pins, what we want different pins to do, ins and outs, such as that. So we start with the serial begin at 9600 baud. I always start with the serial turned on because it's just way easier to debug your program if you can see what the variables are doing. You know, if you have one that should be increasing and it's decreasing, that's why your program's not working. So it starts and it says, if not BMP begin, meaning if it doesn't find that BMP sensor, then while one means forever, it's just going to sit here and not do anything. However, if it finds it, nothing will happen. And we move on down here to matrix begin. And we say matrix begin draw, matrix stroke. Uh, this tells it everything needs to be done in red because we have red LEDs. This is just text that's going to pop up. HBY for Hiker's Buddy. That's all I can fit in there. Font size is 4x6. 5x7 also works. Those are the only two I've tried. Uh, matrix begin text at position 0, 1 in color red. And then we're going to print a line that is text, which is what's here in the constant character. So it's just going to print HBY. Then it's going to end the text. It is going to end the draw. And it's going to wait for two seconds. Now we get down to the loop. The loop is where everything is going on. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our temperature. We're going to put it in a float variable called ftemp because I like Fahrenheit. And we're doing it by saying <clears throat> let ftemp equal BMP read temperature. That's going to give us our temperature in Celsius, which then I multiply by 9 divided by 5 and add 32 to get the actual temperature. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to get our pressure. I have 
PSI pressure, it's going to read it in Pascals. My brain doesn't process Pascals. It doesn't know what those mean. I mean, I can do the math on them, but I just don't relate to it. So that's why I've converted in the, in the PSI. If you don't like PSI, you can leave it in Pascals simply by just removing that little algebraic operation there at the end. So BMP read pressure gets us our pressure. And then again, altitude in feet, it comes in meters. I don't think in meters. I think in feet. So a meter is 3.28084 feet. Multiply, and then we'll get our readings. Now, this is when I was setting the, the thing up. You see, I had it going to the serial monitor. And you can see down here where some of that occurred. So now we get down to the matrix stuff. And I am just learning this matrix thing. So, you know, bear with me. If I've done some of this programming wrong, I'm not a programmer, I'm a hardware guy, but it works. And in my book, that's a win. So we start the same way we did above matrix begin draw, matrix clear, matrix stroke. But now we add in something new, scroll speed. And we're going to have a nice slow scroll so you can read it at 90. Font size is 5 by 7. We begin at position 0, 1, all red. And we say matrix print line temp. Scroll it left and draw. So what that's going to do is that's going to print the temp and it's going to scroll off the screen. And then it's going to do the same thing down here, except instead of printing a word here, it's going to print a variable. That variable is our temp in Fahrenheit. After it does that, it is going to wait two seconds. There's our delay. Then we do it again down here, this time with pressure. And we're going to print PSI pressure. Again, we'll wait two seconds. Then we'll do it one more time down here. This time, altitude. And we'll print altitude in feet. We wait two seconds. That's the end of the line. It rolls back up to the beginning of void loop. And it just keeps going until we tell it to stop. So I hope you can see what I'm getting at with the code. We have that read coming off the center that's giving us one type of value. And uh, the matrix library that's converting our, what, Roman numerals, Roman letters and, and Arabic numerals into uh, something that is displayable here on this matrix. It just isn't that precise. Or if it is... I don't know what I'm doing, which is which is probably more the case. Here, let me get some more light. There, I know that's bright, very bright. I was, I'm just trying to figure out ways to utilize this matrix in a useful fashion. Like, in, in an educational fashion, it's very useful. I mean, you, you, you learn about, well, how to turn LEDs on and off. You can learn about duplexing them, uh, Charlie plexing. You learn about matrices and arrays, data types. I mean, it's incredibly useful in an educational setting. But being that the smallest font that I can put on here is, what, 4 by 6? And I can get about three and a half letters on there at a time, and the end of the matrix doesn't clear. It's, it's like really less than useful. Anyway, the only other part of this project is the actual uh, BMP 180 sensor. I'll put a link down below where you can get one. They're super cheap. They're super small. Four pins, VCC, ground, SDA, and SCL. And as you can see, there you go. A5, A4. A5 is clock. A4 is data. So SCL to A5, SDA to A4. And then... Uh, five bolts and ground here we're using the adafruit library i love the adafruit library so we're using those uh, this is not an adafruit board but it is compatible so hey if you're a developer and you know a better way to hit that matrix and think of it like this a way that isn't going to be taxing on a guy who isn't a developer let me know down below in the comments and I will put the code for this down in the comments, and you guys are welcome to do whatever you want with it. Have fun. You know, information should be free. Learn all you can, have fun with it, and pass it along. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace. 
Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits spade connector kits which if you work on cars or boats you know how useful they will be and the same goes for ring connectors when you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt this is simply the way to do it solder stick remember them for all of your wire connection needs there's a link down below for a discount 